good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Red Light Sports Ramble. Bright, sunny day in Indianapolis today. This town is just rocking after yesterday's debacle of the 49ers. They went all the way to the West Coast, went into the 49ers' home, and destroyed them. You should listen to the talk shows today. It's unbelievable. And I'm going to give the Colts credit. They played one heck of a game yesterday. I actually didn't flip away from that game much. It was good stuff. Very good stuff. And it just looks like Kaepernick. I don't know what's happening, but maybe he lost his magic. Maybe he was wearing that ball cap down in Florida. Maybe it was another tattoo. Maybe it was being in the magazine naked. I don't know. But he looked great against the Packers. As have the three quarterbacks the Packers have played against. But he's looked like crap against the Seahawks and the Colts. And I don't think the Colts' defense is a dominating defense. So there's something going on there. Something going on in San Francisco. But with that said, I mean, it was a weekend of fun football. I always cheer for the underdog. I always cheering for the underdog. My picks, however, sucked. Eight and seven going into tonight. It's like my worst week in a long time. I can't even remember not having double digit wins. But I'm eight and seven. Best I can do is nine and seven. Hopefully the Broncos don't lay an egg. I don't think they will. But geez. But I have a special announcement tonight. Tomorrow night, I'm going to get away from sports. We talk about sports all the time. I will have a segment after. But I, I met this lady through a Twitter friend, Faces of Lung Cancer, and it's Molly Lundquist. And she has started a website that helps people donate to specific projects for cancer. And I'm going to have her on the Red Light Sports Ramble tomorrow night to talk about her website, to talk about the support for it. I went to the website. It is a great thing that she has started here. So hopefully you can all tune in tomorrow, listen to her story, listen to the website she set up, and listen to how we can help people. Because cancer is definitely something that we need to get research for. And we need to keep helping people. So tomorrow night, I'm, I am proud to have Molly on the show. It'll be a, the Tuesday night Red Light Sports Ramble edition, talking about her website and how we can help future generations beat cancer even better than we're doing now. So I hope you can all join me tomorrow night. So with that said, folks, let's talk about something after week three is nearly complete. With the Broncos playing tonight and being such a huge favorite, we can almost say they're going to be 3-0. and That would mean that there's going to be six teams that are 3-0, and six teams that are 0-3. What I want to talk about tonight is which of the 3-0 and teams are going to crack and have a hard time or struggle to get into the playoffs? And then which of the 0-3 teams has some light and can struggle and work their way back into the playoff talk? Now it's tough. When you're 0-3, making the playoffs is nearly impossible. And next week, one of those teams that's 0-3 is going to be 0-4 that is because they're going to London to play. And Pittsburgh and Minnesota are going to London. And one is coming across the sea 0-4. I would hate to be on that plane ride. But both teams are just playing terrible right now. And it's the quarterback play. It really is quarterback play on both of their parts. For those of you that read my Twitter last night, I actually left Pittsburgh at 1 in the morning to get back to work this morning, and so I got to listen to some of the Pittsburgh talk shows yesterday, and this is just the stupidest thing that I've heard. I heard people calling in yesterday blaming Todd Haley for the 0-3 start. They blamed Todd Haley yesterday. Roethlisberger threw for over 400 yards. Antonio Brown, who I benched because they weren't getting him the ball, had nearly 200 yards. 
The offense scored points. Ben turned the ball over four times. And on 93.7, the fan in Pittsburgh, Paul Zeiss even said this. At some point, your glamour boy quarterback, your million-dollar arm, Ben Roethlisberger, has to take the blame. That's who gets blamed yesterday. Two fumbles, two interceptions. And they led to scores. And that defense could not get a stop to save their life. They're playing crappy. I don't see them doing anything this year. There's no way that 0-3 team, even if they win next week, is going to be in any playoff talk. Not with the Ravens and not with the Bengals in that division. No way. Not happening. The Vikings, no way. Not with Ponder at quarterback. And I'm, I'm not going to make my pick yet for the London game, but they could be 0-4. And even at 1-3, and no way is Minnesota making the playoffs. Not even going to be in the same breath this year. And I had mentioned that earlier in the ramble when I was doing my predictions. Now, I am surprised with the Bears, and I'm going to talk about them in a little bit. Jacksonville also 0-3. We all know Jacksonville will be lucky if they even can come close to winning a game. If I was Jones Drew, I would be in the front office saying, just trade me. Just trade me or cut me. The guy's going to get pounded on. Got to be frustrating for a good running back like that. Tampa Bay, 0-3. I think their season is done. And not because I don't think they can win some games. But they got the Falcons and the Saints ahead of them. They're in the NFC with the Seahawks, the 49ers, the Packers, the Bears. Maybe. Maybe. But I'm just thinking it's... They're going to have to get a wild card. And it's going to be tough pickings to get a wild card. Especially with the Bears starting 3-0. So I think, unfortunately, Buccaneer fans, I think your season is pretty much over for playoff talk. And I'm going to go back to this. Offensively, Josh Freeman is not your answer. Very evident in three games. Very evident. Washington and New York are the other teams that are 0-3. Now here's where I'm going to go with this. They play in the NFC East, and yes, I know the Cowboys are 2-1. The Eagles are 1-2. Which means that there's an outside chance that either the Giants or the Redskins can turn this around and win that division. So, of the six teams that are 0-3, the only two that have a glimmer of hope are the Giants and the Redskins. Both of their defenses are terrible right now. But it's because the offense cannot sustain drives. If I'm going to give the edge to any team, it'll be the Giants. Because Eli has the weapons on the outside. He's got Nixon Cruz. Has no running game, though. Offensive line is terrible, but he's a veteran quarterback. He's won two Super Bowls. He's experienced enough to maybe take the reins, deflect some of that pressure, get him back into the NFC East chase. The Redskins, I think, are still looking for their identity. The Giants are just bad. They got a lot of holes, and they'll know the holes. They got the coaching staff, they got the veteran quarterback. Now, I'm not saying the Redskins don't have a good coach in Shanahan, but they got a young quarterback who's hurt, and they can't pick up the blitz in the middle, and they don't have the same weapons on the outside that the Giants have. And defensively, I don't know what's going on there. Giving up a lot of points. So are the Giants, though. So, there you have it, folks. Of all the teams that are 0-3 right now, the only two I think have a glimmer. I mean, and I'm talking a small glimmer of hope, are the Giants or the Redskins. Now, the teams that are 3-0. Five teams are 3-0. The Broncos are 2-0. I don't think the Broncos have anything to worry about. I don't think they're going to crack. The way the Saints are playing right now, I don't think they're going to crack either. I don't think Seattle's going to crack. 
And in the AFC, I don't think New England's going to crack and miss the playoffs. Now, that leaves two other teams in the AFC. The Dolphins and the Chiefs. Neither are proven. And I had high hopes for both of them in my preseason predictions. And I said, I think they can make some noise. Tannehill is playing some good football right now. Not spectacular, but good enough to win. I'm impressed. I look at Kansas City and the same thing. Alex Smith is not turning the ball over. Now, I don't think that can last forever. But I'm giving the advantage to the Chiefs right here. So I think the Dolphins are the 3-0 team that doesn't make the playoffs. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to come down to the wire. I don't think they're going to crack. But I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I think it'll be the Chiefs getting a wild card over the Dolphins. Even though I think the Dolphins right now are playing better ball than the Patriots, I think Brady will do enough to bring those receivers back. If he can get Gronk back, Amendola back, He's going to have a receiving core. They'll get back on track. It's the Patriots. It's Belichick. Just don't think this is the year for the Dolphins. Now, I hope I'm wrong. Because I'd like to see the Tannehill story and the feel-good story. But it's just what I see. And then that leaves my last team, the Bears. The Bears at 3-0. Outside of yesterday's game against the Steelers... They could have very well been 0-2. I think there's still some growing pains with Trustman being there. Good for them, they're 3-0. But the way that this is all rolling out with the 1-2 teams and the 49ers and the Falcons going 1-2, the Bears are in a good position right now. And I don't see the big letdown that happened last time they got off to such a great start. I don't see it happening with this coaching staff. What I see happening, though, is Jay Cutler being Jay Cutler when defenses are able to look at enough film of this offense and figure out how to get to the quarterback because he's still showing that he's going to make mistakes. I don't think you can judge against the Steelers because I'm not impressed with that defense. But let's see when he plays some more quality defenses what's going to happen. So I'm still going with the Packers in the NFC North. I mean, we'll talk about the Packer game on Thursday. This is not the time nor the place for it. But I think the Bears are the team that is 3-0 right now that are not going to win their division. I think the Dolphins are a team that's 3-0 that's not going to make the playoffs. So with that said, folks, that is tonight's Red Light Sports Ramble. As I said, special guest speaker tomorrow night, I hope that you tune in to listen to Molly Lundquist talk about her website and how we can help people fight cancer. So again, people, I'll see you at the next red light. Enjoy your evening and enjoy Monday night football. Talk to you soon.